Bye. All right, here's the various options you can do when you chip and charge. Option one, you gotta set it up first. You, you need to hit on the backhand. I like my backhand, so I'll hit. And the, 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 give, the giveaway is I'm gonna hit when you see this. When you see me load, you know I'm gonna hit. And this is tough, because the key to chipping and charging is get the ball away from that person. As long as you get far enough away, they can't do anything. And it's that you put emphasis on hitting it far enough away, right, right, slightly over past the middle line and then if they can poach and get that then they're awesome and then you get the net and that's the other key get the net and make them pass you it's not big it's getting the ball in I got the, the ball line is short but if you had served in volley that would have been a tough volley this is the second thing very underrated I don't know why my partner ran away but whatever I'm pulled off wide so I go lob no it's a racket okay but it's also important when you chip and charge that you go lob because what's going to end up happening is when you chip and charge a lot, the net person will start getting more and more aggressive trying to cut the lob, just cut the slice off. And you need to mix it because as they play the net more, that opens up the lob. Right over the backhand of the righty, come to net, stay at the service line, expect an overhead. Here's a classic. Now notice how nasty this slice is. I step in, it's a good cut, it's going to go away from that person. That person's a lefty too, so this is his backhand, so it makes it easier for me to play with a return. And then notice how I get in. Look, the ball bounces, the guy's forced back on the slice, and I get in. That's the other key. You have to get in. You want to make it service line to service line, you want to make it that kind of a game. And once you're in a rally, and you, once you get used to playing net a lot, and you're in a rally like this, it fully advantageous to you because you're so used to playing net, and other people are not. Look how far back they were. They're playing off the service line, and we we're inside the service box, and that's another key. Doubles is mostly about position. Here's a classic chip and charge. You go deep chip and just play the court normal. Deep chips work if they don't come to net. If they come to net, that would be a fairly easy volley for him. I lucked out because I was trying to chip it low, but he, he didn't come to net. Hit the ball and get in. Notice how I chip, and I'm in the box before the ball bounces. Yeah, the ball bounces, ball bounces, and I'm in. Right there, I try to get in one step in front of the service line. My partner covers the line, court opens, shoot the field goal right between them, get a weak shot, finish. The other thing if you notice, they know I'm good at net because I come to net all the time. They don't hit me a lot. It's kind of funny. So, But that increases the threat of me at the net. So I try to move around a lot at the net and make them think about me. Because they know I'm good at net. They try to keep the ball away from me at net. That makes the court smaller for them. That makes it prone to get an error. Here's a classic. We went over this before. The drop shot. I love this point. Off the net winner. Gotta love that. Key to the drop shot. Uh, slight underspin. Not too much power. Don't do it all the time. So they don't know it's coming. Get in. You have to watch for lob though when you do this because he could have lob, but my partner is really tall, so that really helps us out also. 
The other key too is you got to do what you like to do. I like to volley, so this is very enjoyable for me to play like this. If you don't like to volley, this is not going to be fun for you at all. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm winning points here and there, but I'm good at volleys. So if you're not good at volleys, you have to learn how to do it over time. The last one's the classic. You have to do this also to keep them honest. The down the line chip, the lob, you got to be able to hit it. But those things help you as you chip it. See how the person didn't shift? He stayed there. And he's a lefty, so that's his forehand. But he didn't shift with me, opens up the alley. It's not big, it just has to pass in the air. As long as the, lob, as long as the ball is in the air traveling and lands, he's toast.